All right guys, so it's been forever since my last video. I apologize about that. Work has kept me extremely busy this year, but I'm gonna have a lot more to come later this year. Work's finally slowing down. That's part of the downside of being on the pipeline. You're at the mercy of the pipeline, but I had a fishing trip over the weekend to Sabine Lake. It was pretty good. Decided to bring the camera, even though I hadn't been forever, and I absolutely caught a lot of fish. And this is the bait I was throwing right here. This is a Bill Lewis Echo 1.75 in the Silverado color. Now this is a bass lure, but if you've never thrown it in salt water, oh my gosh, it works phenomenal. It doesn't really dive that deep, and bays are typically shallow anyway, so I was just parallel on the bank lines and point hopping like I typically do, and I really wore them out. It was a pretty good day, and caught a few other fish, uh, speckled trout, very few and far between flounders the same way but anyways i'm gonna get ready for this weekend and i hope you enjoy this video There's another red fish right there with him. This one come on the Echo 1.75. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but it looks like Red's how they're kind of waiting. Try to get up there. real good and I do not want this hook in my face. At least I say it's not hooked good. Yeah, he's hooked good. Better than I thought. Echo 175 again. I need my needle nose. Trouble hooks are kind of short for trouble hooks. And if you've never had one in you, you're missing out on a lot of fun. Not really. Let's see if I can catch back up with the school and catch a few more. You know, one thing I like to look 
or a lot in this supplies, whether I'm bass fishing or fishing for saltwater fish. See right in front of me these white birds? If they're up there, that's because they're eating some kind of bait, whether it be shrimp, shad. This whole bank line in front of me is filled with them. I mean, like, there's one, two, three, and there's another one around this corner we can't see. They're up there feeding. Get out of that Tehatsu. This is a good one. Nope, that's not the fish I've seen. I've seen a bigger one hit it. I thought I missed him, but maybe this was the fish that I didn't. The bigger one was behind him. That school's let's keep going right up along this bank line. This is a good one, though. He's got this echo inhaled. Look at this, this is nuts. Yeah, I think he wanted that one. But when they like this, just take your time with them. You can get them safely unhooked. Kind of a little bit of an awkward positioning, but I can get him. Just like that. so cool! This one is a big one. I literally just lost a nice size redfish and then this one was evidently with it and I don't know how many cranks I made but it just come right up behind it and I watched it eat this crankbait. I've only got 12 pound fluorocarbon on here, so I can't really force him that much.
My size red. You skinny like me. Good trade. showed up. There's the slam. <laughs> and there's Mama. Takes talent to get shared on swim bait. Just say. Good day. Y'all keep the 
Lord first in your life. Let this little fella go, grow up. And we'll see you next time we film.